sailboat must be one of the best of human inventions going through the water using nothing but the wind. But we didn't come out here for an ecology lesson. We came out to learn something about the body, and a sailboat can help teach us about how the body stands up. We're used to looking at structures like the lighthouse in the building behind me, where you've got one brick piled on top of another brick, all sitting on solid main granite, so that it's a continuous compression structure all the way down from the top of the lighthouse to the ground. And we think of our skeleton as being the same way, the head piled on top of the thorax, and the chest on top of the pelvis, and the pelvis on top of the legs. But you know, if you disappeared all of the soft tissue, the skeleton would fall to the ground. And a sailboat is a little bit instructed like that. A body is more like a sailboat than a lighthouse. The mast is kind of like a bone or a series of bones like the spine, and the stays, or the shrouds, are really like the myofasci of the body, offering extra support in a tensional way, not just a compressional way. If you suddenly disappeared all these stays off the light, off the uh, sailboat, the mast would fall down under the pressure of the sail. You really need these guys on this side to keep it tight. If we went over and waggled the shrouds on the other side, you'd see that they were very loose. But when we turn the boat the other way, they'll be tight again. Same thing is true of the body. If you look at this structure here, this is kind of taking the sailboat idea to an extreme. These tensegrity structures were invented by Kenneth Nelson, a sculptor, and uh, popularized by Buckminster Fuller, a designer in the 1960s. It works off a whole new geometry. But if you look here carefully, you'll see that the dowels are supported in a balanced way without even touching each other by the balance of the rubber bands. And the body is very much the same way. If you disappeared all these rubber bands, all the dowels would clatter to the floor. And the same thing is true of the body. If you disappeared all the soft tissue, all the bones would clatter to the floor. We have this kind of illusion because we look at those skeletons in the classroom. They're all wired together, so we think of the skeleton as a solid framework on which the muscles work, but it's not that way at all. The bones float in the soft tissue in the same way that these dowels float inside the rubber bands. Now, when you start to look at these structures, they have a bunch of interesting properties that are very much like the properties bodies have. If I create a shortness in this part of the soft tissue, you can see that the whole structure deforms in a way. Let's see if I can keep it still enough here so that you can see that. See how the whole structure goes? So I could have a shortness over in this part of the body and be complaining of pain over in this part where it's changing. Same thing is true of structural body work. You can have somebody saying, oh, the pain's in my neck. And I start to work over here, and they say, no, the pain's up here in my neck. I say, well, that may be where you're hurting, but this is where the problem is. This is where the shortness is. Kind of bone manipulation techniques like chiropractic and osteopathy tend to look at knocking the bones back into place, which can also work to restore balance to the structure of the body. But long-term chronic postural difficulties are often set in the soft tissue in such a way that resetting the bones simply won't last. The soft tissue will again pull the bones out of place. So what we're looking at here in terms of what we want is an even balanced tone across the myofasci of the body so that the bones will stay lightly, easily floating in place. The anatomy trains theory is looking at how the myofasci of the body cover the bones, not just this muscle going from here to here, but in the series of continuous rubber bands that work their way around the human structure, which is a good deal more complicated than this structure, so that we can achieve the kind of balance that leads to ease and harmony and lack of pain.